So how does a two-headed snake shed? It literally doesn't look real. It looks like something off the Muppet Show. <laughs> everybody welcome to the vlog on a beautiful but somewhat chilly morning here in Michigan and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible I actually got an email today saying someone wanted to be friends with me on MySpace he created the best website that there ever was and I looked and it seems that I still have a MySpace profile is MySpace still even a thing I haven't logged on to MySpace in like 10 years that is absolutely crazy the internet it is a crazy crazy place with that being said let's go ahead and head on to the shop and spend some time with my amazing animals like Nova the frilly here they're actually open tonight and one of the things I always talk about with the boreal animals like Nova is when you're handling them they start to get a little bit crazy all you do is raise them up like this and they absolutely calm down and then you can bring them back down and he'll chill out and every time he starts to squirm a little bit you just raise them back up high up in the thing see they're arboreal animals so they feel good when they're above you the same thing goes when you're dealing with let's say an arboreal venomous snake if it starts to come back towards you if you just lift it up in the air it'll typically go up most of the time arboreal animals won't go down so you don't have to worry about them coming back down on you again that's just a general rule not all animals are going to do that but certainly when you're handling Nova here, it's one of the things I tell the crew when they're handling them in front of people. And then when I hand Nova to people here at the Reptarium when we're open, I tell them the exact same thing. It's just hold him like this, let him think you're a tree, and then if he starts to squirm around, you just go like that, raise him up in the air, and he's completely fine. As for now, I'm going to let Nova go back in his cage. Go ahead, Nova. See you, bud. Bye. We'll see you tonight. So Ben and Jerry are actually deep in shed. You can see how cloudy their eyes are, and uh, that means that probably in about a week or so or maybe even a little less they're gonna actually shed their skin now what's interesting is think about this a normal snake will peel its nose and mouth and then slowly kind of just crawl out of the skin but with these guys with two heads connected look at right here that webbing in between them now that doesn't break so how does a two-headed snake shed that's really interesting now I've had two-headed snake and I've even seen the shed after a two-headed snake has shed but it always makes me wonder like how how do they get that part up? Well, we're about to find out with Ben and Jerry what's gonna happen. I'm assuming that once they kind of break that skin away from both their noses, maybe it splits in the middle. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what's gonna happen, to be totally honest with you, but I'm pretty excited about it. So in about a week or so, I'll let you guys know how the process went. Lori's been so busy over at BHB that she actually hasn't seen some of our new stuff, like the Europlades lizards and stuff like that. And these are ones I think you'll really like, because Lori's always liked these leaf tail geckos, so I gotta show you up. Take a look at that. Oh, goodness. That's kind of really that's scary looking. <laughs> it's a little scary looking, but it's totally cool. Oh my you know? god. It literally doesn't look real. It looks like something off the Muppet Show. <laughs> know, isn't that crazy? Wow. Oh, you know what? I see all those memes with like the crazy like devil eyes, and they obviously must have uh, made the eyes red, but that's crazy. I know, they're so beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I figured you'd like those because I know you like jackals and stuff. They like are that. pretty cool. How old are these? Uh, these are like you know two, three year old okay. animals, full grown adults. Okay, because I was gonna say they're pretty big, so that they won't get any bigger. No, this is as big as they get. Oh my god, so weird. And then take a look at this girl here. Oh my goodness. Isn't she amazing? What is it? She can step up. She's fine. This what is actually kind is a it? Parsons chameleon. Parsons. And guess what her name is? What? Jade. Did you name that? No, it's actually, it was already named. And what's crazy is, look at this, how that, there's a spot here. Yeah, I was going to say, is that something on her? Look on the other side. It's got the exact same spot. Oh, so it's, it's just, just a white colors. dot. Yeah, it's just her colors, huh? Wow. Isn't she beautiful? She is beautiful. Now, how big is this full grown? No, this gets like three times the size. Heaviest chameleon in the world. Really? Okay, I thought guacamole was. These are bigger than guacamole. Wow. Very cool. What's the lifespan? This is the longest lived chameleon. It'll live up to 15 years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so Jade is only a year old, so she's just hopefully. Oh my goodness, get her just out. a year? Yep. And she's already eating and everything, doing super good. So, super <laughs> excited. So, 
So what do you think of our new animals, new new exhibits? Oh, I love them. I think they're really cool. I love lizards. It's exciting to get a lot of new things like this that we've never had before. Real quick, I got a package that just came. I have no idea what this is. I know that a few people were sending a few things, uh, so I don't know what this is. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what? What? Applying to your car. Oh my gosh. This is actually cool. This is actually like car stickers. You can actually stick these on a car. They're like a big magnet. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Take a look at that. That is so cool. It's got all kinds of pictures from the Reptarium. It's got our address, our hours and stuff like that. And apparently I can just stick it on the side of my car. That is so cool. I'm not sure who sent this to me. I'm looking to see if there's any notes or anything like that. No, no notes. Uh, so whoever did this, thank you. Um, that's pretty freaking awesome. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm actually gonna go stick it on Lori's car without her knowing, and then see what she has to say when she gets back. That is cool. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. So Lori's in her office. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on her car and just wait till she comes out. Maybe I'll bring her out and say I had to show her something. Just get her reaction to see what she thinks. I'm gonna put salt and pepper out on display tonight. I'm a little bit nervous. I think I'm actually gonna put salt right here in this tank because it's kind of a little darker and she'll pop. And then I'll put pepper over here and being dark with the lighter tank, it's gonna really pop. I'll pull them back off of display at the end of the night, put them back in their quarantine. But I think that they're gonna be ready and maybe this slight habituation to being out there will actually help them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just excited for people to see them. Seems like I talk about reticulated pythons an awful lot. Of course, Sunrise is my Burmese python over there and snaz but i wanted to give you guys an update on these little monkeys here of course this is that hypo granite burmese python that i got from my buddy miguel and who doggy that thing is gorgeous i mean take a look at that little dude right there Woo Oh, he's a feisty little dude too. Definitely a little bit of a nippy one, but it's not too bad right now. I mean, it's definitely chilling out and what a gorgeous animal. Again, this is a hypo granite. The granite is actually a recessive mutation. And then when the fire or hypo gets bred together, it actually produces that like ivory Burmese python, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at you, what's the matter, little buddy? Oh my gosh. Miguel asked me the other day, like, how's that snake taming down? I said, it's actually doing pretty good. And you can see it's a little bit feisty, but it's not bad at all. And of course, here is the ivory Burmese python that I got recently and she just shed out so she looks so absolutely incredible. I just think it's such an unusual animal. The way the white kind of breaks down the middle where it's different color on top and then really white on the bottom and then it has that kind of yellowy head looking thing. I mean this is just a super super cool snake and by the way I'm thinking about naming it Light Fury because you know I love How to Trade a Dragon and we know that the next one coming out there's going to be a Light Fury in it but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So let's go ahead and see what Pepper looks like in this tank. I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. And there he is. He's all the way in the back of the tank right now, hanging out in there. He looks so awesome. I'll let him get habituated for the rest of the morning and early afternoon before we open up. And then probably just before we open, I'll go ahead and put salt out. Cause I don't want any additional stress to that animal for sure. But uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Oh, I gotta show you, Lori. I did something special for your car. Oh God. What? I did what? something special for your car I wanted to show you. What do you mean? I think oh, it's my really car. Awesome. Did, you, did you get it detailed? Cause I, I did really... Get detailed. Just take a look around it. Really nice. I'm detail. Confused. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> That is not. <laughs> Keep it on there. That is not. No, that goes on your truck. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm not driving around with your face on my car. It's freaking it's cold. That's I funny. think it's good. I think it's good. You like it? No. So actually, someone sent it to us. I don't even. I'm not even sure, but. Well, thank you. It's very nice. It'll be on your truck. <laughs> she doesn't appreciate the rep. Oh, I appreciate it. Look at that. I was gonna say, don't tell her she has one. On that. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. All and then, see, By nothing the way, Christmas says, trees in the back of my truck. I know. Nothing says ego like your own face on your car. I know. <laughs> I get a one? Kelsey, what did you do over here? Oh, well, I had a little bit of extra time, so I decorated RJ's pond for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
Look at he's got his tree back. He's got his lights back up. Oh, we got some garland over here. Oh my God, Kelsey, this is this is fantastic. You know what I'd really like to do is get him his own stocking. Oh my gosh, RJ stocking. That that's a <laughs> we're gonna do. We can hang it right over here. I think Santa's coming to give RJ a little treat this year. Or Cole. Or Cole. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrea asked where Pepper was. Making me nervous. I know. I hope he's still in his thing over here. I gotta check up on him. Oh my gosh, I get so stressed out. I put Pepper over here for for tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. oh my. God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You're about to eat your own words. <laughs> that was the best. For the for a minute I couldn't find him. I'm like, oh my god, he's not in there. But no, I put him in here. I actually am gonna put salt over here too. Awesome. I'm gonna do uh do him on display tonight. We should leave a sticky cool. note on there so that <laughs> <laughs> I told Bruce, I told Bruce. But uh uh Ooh. at the end of the night we are gonna put them back in quarantine. Okay. Alright, all right, yeah, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> There for a second my stomach did drop, like, oh my god, did Pepper get out? But uh go ahead and put salt in this one and see how she does for the night. Again, we'll put them back in quarantine after, but I want people to get a chance to see how beautiful they are. And there she is. Oh my God, how awesome is that? People are gonna love you. Salt is gonna be so beautiful. And the fun has begun at the Reptarium. I don't want to always continue to bore you guys with all kinds of stuff, but I just think the fact that people can come and take the animals out and get to see Sunrise and Perdita in the background, and we got tarantulas up here, I think that's what makes it so special for me too, just to see people's faces. So I always love it when we're open to the public. So this is definitely a first at the Reptarium. Uh, of course we have Ben and Jerry, but what do we have here? A tattoo of a two-headed snake. So uh, there you go, two-headed snake. There you go, two-headed snake tattoo, two-headed real snake live, Ben and Jerry. We always love a little Bruce story time here. Hi. What do we have here? We have a children's python, we have a doom roll call, we have Jasper, the apple. Hello, you too. <laughs> we have Jasper out here, so we're all learning something. So we're getting to the end of the night here at the Reptarium. Definitely a fun night, just kind of hanging out with everyone. Again, I hope that you enjoyed the journey of today, and I appreciate all of your support. You guys mean the world to me, and I truly hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day, evening, Evening, whenever you're happy to be watching can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video make a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow